squiddy squid squid. Squiddy 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 squid squid. Huh? Please see my eyes. I'm going to get you. I got you now. Stop it. Take that. Oh, those kids have a pool in their backyard. I'm so cracking jealous. What are you talking about? Huh? Did you forget where our house is located? We have a huge friggin' ocean sitting right under our noses. That's a completely different scenario. What I'm squidding about is having total control over my very own pool invasion. Yeah, that's not a very ambitious invasion. So says you. Anyway, I want a pool just like that in my yard, too. Did you just say your yard? Fine. If you insist, I'll go ask Sis if we can have one. How about a squiddy pool? Yeah, we do. Somewhere in here. What? We do? Yeah. Here. Uh. Huh? This can't be Gilead. I'm squinting about one of those personal pools that's round and filled with cracking water to splash around in. Do you see that opening right in the middle? You inflate it by blowing air into it. Inflate it? Yeah, you keep blowing into it until it becomes big enough to hold water. Then you fill it up how you like. Uh -huh. <sighs> Seriously? No. Inflate it for me, Squiddy, please. Are you incapable or something? What? I don't want to do it. You're the one who plans on using this thing, so blow it up yourself. Not even close. You still have a long ways to go, Squid Girl. That invasion wasn't built in an hour. I must regroup. What? What's going huh? on? What are you guys huh? doing in the yard? Hey, Sane. Squid Girl just wants to be lured in her own personal pool. Hmm? I've been lung fishing this pool for ages, but nothing seems to be happening here. Uh, oh my god! Does that mean that thing is filled with Squiddy's magical breath? A longing sight? A whispered breath? The very essence that is created by the delicious Squiddy herself? Hmm? Squiddy, would you like it if I were to switch with you? <gasps> that would be so cracking! Good, I have excellent lung power. I think I only filled up two-thirds of this tide pool so far. That's fine. I don't know what's happening, but it looks quite impressive. She's looking demonic with that breathing. <laughs> you inhaled! I did? Oh, well, I guess I made a mistake. How on earth did you manage to do that? All my hard work gone. I have something for you guys. Oh, hi, Sanae. I found the pump for it. Here's Squid and Wade. Leave it to me, ladies. I must convey my love to Squiddy. <laughs> She's terrifyingly fast. just a few minutes ago. <laughs> Personal pools should be enjoyed in solitude. And they should always be set up in a secluded squid safe area. Free from all disturbances such as slithering harpies. And have a spectacular view. This is the best spot for an incubator to watch over her kingdom. I'm gonna go change! <sighs> that was too squid and close. Don't splash all the water out of the pool. Wait a good second. That barnacle sucker will be coming back to invade my territory with her beak. Hmm. I know. I'll just move up there. <laughs> Squiddy! Hey! We're perfect. All I can see is the piercing blue sky, the fluffy clouds, and the bright hot sun. The 
view is all mine. I'd say this is... an invasion executed perfectly in every way. <laughs> I think I can... allow a wandering kite to fly through my skies. Maybe she just got bored and headed off to the beach shack? What, you really think that's it? You think she got bored with her pool? I guess she can be so easily distracted. Yeah, she's like that. I want to play with my squiddy. I even changed into a swimsuit. Well, we can go check at the beach shack. Yes, let's! <laughs> my very own special place. With no sauna around. It's practically a squid paradise. Beer? And some dumplings as well, please. Okay, be right there. Hello? This is Beach Lemon Shack. As a lifeguard who protects and watches over human lives on a daily basis, this spot is a safe haven for me. You always seem to order shrimp fried rice. I do. I can never seem to get an over season with spectacular shrimp fried rice. Mm. Thanks for the meal. It was delicious as always, Chizuru. Glad you liked it, Goro. It was an oasis. Well, at least it was supposed to be. Hello, but Goro! But then... Oh. There you are, my strapping lad. That's right. So my mother showed up. I think your mom is here. Uh, what are you doing visiting the beach shack, Mom? Why do I need your permission to be able to stop in here, son? Echo, dear! Chizuru, dear! Long time no see! You too, Takaru! Nice to see you, ma'am! It's been way too long! You look like you're doing well for yourself! See for yourself, my dear! Oh, oh my! I feel like I've just seen you recently, Chizuru! It's like we're practically roommates now! You know, what with Goro's room and... No, 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 no! no. What did you come here for anyway? If you've come to tease me, you can leave now! Why the hell do I have to leave just because of your sensitive feelings? I ain't going home till I eat something good! <laughs> She's so annoying! This is so bothersome. Mom! Why are you sitting across from me? Don't you remember I gave birth to you making us family? That is not the issue at hand! You're embarrassing me in front of everyone! Embarrassing you? How so? Come on now, what kind of adult hangs out with their mom at the beach shack for lunch? <laughs> Maybe if we don't say anything, everyone will think oh. we're a couple. Isazaki, a little help over here! What's up? What's going on, man? Oh, I know, mm -hmm. dear. That uh, supermarket has really uh, I see your mom's here, bro. Recently. Yeah. Dude, you're just gonna have to leave if you don't want to be harassed by her. I'm scared what she'll do if I take my eyes off her. I'll have the fried rice, the dumplings, and some oil soba noodles. Oh, yes, and fried pork curry. Excellent. I'll get all those out to you. Hey, Cole. Chizuru. Huh? I'm finally back from the Squidden store. You are so adorable. You young kids call that cosplay nowadays, don't ya? I'm not cosplaying, lady. I've emerged from the darkest part of the ocean to take over the land. I am Squid Girl. Oh, dear me. That silly old woman will think twice before messing with this incubator again. It's great to see that all you young kids still have such big imaginations. I don't think she flounderstood me. Mm. 
thanks for the meal. I should probably stop now. I'm still on my low-fat diet, after all. It was delicious, Chizuru. I'm glad you liked it, ma'am. You are so talented with your cooking skills. It's no wonder Goro admires you so much. <laughs> oh? Mom, a word, please? What for? Why would you say something that personal directly to her face? It's so awkward. I'm only saying those things because you're taking too long and asking her out on a date or whatever. <laughs> Thanks, but no thanks, Mom. You've had your fun at lunch today. Now go back home. Look who's calling the kettle black. You're one to talk, mister. Neglecting your duties by hanging out here. Huh? You're supposed to be overseeing the safety of the ocean so everyone can have a good time. You lifeguards have a duty to uphold while here at the beach. Now she's all suddenly Mother Superior. Well then... Since you're here, shouldn't you be out there having a good time in that great big beautiful ocean or something? What? Goro, you know I'm no good at swimming in an ocean like that. Then why did you come here in a swimsuit? Please don't be embarrassed about that. There was a time when I couldn't swim either, but Goro was nice enough to give me swimming lessons. Oh, he did, did he? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I just hope you would try to save me if I was drowning out there. Huh? You know what I'm talking about. I bet you have no problem rescuing a young, beautiful girl okay? who's drowning in distress. Hang on. But would you be able to perform CPR on a fat, middle-aged woman like me? Yes, I would. That's part of my job duty. <laughs> Could you kindly refrain from saying such misleading things about me like that, Mom? Goro once saved my life while I was out surfing some monstrous waves in some really bad weather. I guess I wasn't paying attention when a big wave came out of nowhere and nearly drowned me. I don't know what would have happened if he wasn't there. She's gonna be okay. <laughs> and Goro huh? once saved Squid Girl from drowning, too. <laughs> she didn't take the time to stretch properly before going out, so her tentacles tensed up. C come on, that was just an off day for me. Well, who would have thought you'd actually be doing your job properly? Why wouldn't I be? Well, I thought you weren't getting enough female attention. But it looks like you're fine. I knew you just came here to tease me. Let's go, Isazaki. I don't have to take this from you. Uh, okay. He can be bashful at times. How did you torment Goro so well? You've got some real squid talent. I just teased him a teetsy bit, hun. <laughs> he still acts like such a child. But you, my dear, you've got an interesting manner of speaking. What with squid this and squid huh? that? Is that what's really popular nowadays? What? That's not why I gilly say it at all! Honestly. The lemon shack was my only safe haven to get away from it all. Give me a freaking break. Goro! Well, what is it now, Mom? I'm gonna go ahead and leave, sweetie. Fine, fine. Don't give me that sass. Yeah, whatever, Mom. I'm pretty busy right now, you know? Goro! Don't waste your day snooping on those pretty girls too much. I'm not snooping! <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I'm just teasing. Uh, I know you're doing an excellent job as a lifeguard here, Goro. I don't need to find grounds to boast about your lifeguarding accomplishments. I've seen them with my own eyes. I've been here before to try and observe you at work unnoticed. Not to tease you or make fun of you, but to watch you, because I'm genuinely proud of who you are as a person. Mom, I'm sorry. I never... I never knew you felt that way about me. <laughs> I'll be off. Huh? Okay, squid you later. Not here, you won't. Mornings can be so ink and pleasant here. Yep. Huh? 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 What are you doing? You can't throw your trash into the sea. It's not trash. I was just trying to send a message in a bottle. A message in a bottle? Yeah, it's that thing where you put a note in a bottle and send it off into the ocean. Send it off? How is that not considered littering? Because it's not that at all. The idea is that someday your bottle will wash ashore onto another far-off foreign land. And that someone from that land will find it and read the message that you wrote inside. I see. So in other words, you're saying your message has the potential to reach the whole squid and world. That might take a while, though. <laughs> As an incubator, how can I not send one out to other possible suckers? Huh? A message ink a bottle? First, we need to find a squid-appropriate bottle to use. What are you doing, exactly? This has squid-tential. 
Will you guzzle this down for me, sucker? Drink it yourself, fool! In that case, I'll chug it down for you. Squintastic! Whoa! In one go, too! <laughs> Have some decency, man! <laughs> All that's left now is the message. I want to help, right? Oh, this is a message in a bottle. Please reply back to me. Takaru Ayazawa. I'll invade your kind. There, I'm done with mine. Depending on where it ends up, that message could cause an international uprising. Wait to see the reaction of whoever finds it. Yeah, I can't wait either. <laughs> Why'd my bottle come swimming back to me? Looks like mine is still on its journey across the sea. Something to do with the waves? I'll just have to crack and throw it further out. <laughs> It's because the direction it drifts is up to the sea currents. Guess my aggressive message wasn't squid appreciated by the sea. What, like spam mail or something? I'll just have to re-ink. So what are you gonna write this time? It's a secret. This ought to work! <laughs> sure you came from the sea yourself. We need this bottle to enter the current? Huh? Well, if that's the case, leave it to me, Cindy Campbell. Along with MIT's best and brightest graduates, this job will be a piece, piece of cake, cake for us to do. do! It's you three? Launcher made with our finest technology, the It's Gonna Fly Dater. For boosting fuel, we use liquid nitrogen for sustained thrust and supreme lifting power. Without detailed flight pattern analysis, we are able to maintain the best eject speed and angle. Wow, impressive, compadres. That's enough nerding out for now. Let's launch already. We're gonna start the countdown. Ten, nine. This is the launch button to push. Six, five, four, three, two, one! Fire! Aren't you trying to kill us? It looks like we may have used a little too much fuel. Oh, you think so, genius? Come on, let it go. Let's regroup and try this again. The It's Gonna Fly Nada much improved. Ready? Oh, oh my no! god! I cannot believe it couldn't support the weight of the bottle! Are you freaking kidding me with these disasters? Scientists will tell no lies, girlfriend! We're entirely serious with these! This is weird. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. I would guess your brains, obviously! You'd better be right. Are you ready for takeoff? Tentacles crossed! <sighs> hey! How far are you throwing that thing? As far as it will possibly go to help get it to foreign waters. Oh, no! It looks like it just left the stratosphere. <laughs> this time for 
sure. You know, huh? Why don't you just try and throw it out with your tentacles? I guess I could do that. <laughs> it looks like it made it far enough this time. So, you were kind of late in noticing your tentacles, huh? <laughs> It was able to drift out there this good in time around. <laughs> Squid Girly, are you okay? <sighs> that sucked. What's this ditch? It wasn't here yesterday. Forget that. When am I gonna get my crack and reply already? It's not gonna come back that quickly. 